Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna discuss about the history of the Olympic Games. So many people didn't know about the history of Olympic Games. Let's look at this. So the ancient Olympic Games were primarily a part of religious festival in honor of Zeus, the father of the Greek gods and goddesses. So the festival and the games were held in the Olympia in the western Peloponnese. The Greeks that came at the Olympia shared the same religious beliefs and spoke the same uh, language. So the century was named in the antiquity after the empty Olympos, the highest mountain in mainland Greece. So in Greek mythology, empty Olympus was the home of the greatest of the Greek gods and goddesses. The ancient Olympic Games begin in the year 773 BC when the Corypus, a cook from the nearby city of Elis, won the stadion race, a foot race 600 feet long. The stadion track at Olympia is shown here. So, uh, the world stadium drive from this world stadium, it is basically the name of race. So, every four year, people from the Greek city states travel to watch the Olympic Games. In this game, only men were allowed to participate. And this game would last for five days and they became the great festival which celebrate the athletes strength power in running jumping and throwing so the game also celebrated the culture of the people and the game continued until 394 AD so when uh, the Roman army won a war against the Greece and the game were forbidden Several months before the Olympic Games, the Olympic flame is lit at Olympia, Greece and the flame announces the Olympic Games and spreads a message of peace and friendship between people. The torch really ends at the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games. After this, uh, the ceremony takes place in the ancient side of Olympia, Greece. The torch will arrive in the Marseilles in the south of France and as it begins uh, its journey to the Olympic Games Paris 2024 opening ceremony. And it took 1503 years for the Olympic to return. The first modern Olympics were held in Athens, Greece in 1896 and the man who responsible for its rebirth was a Frenchman named Baron Pierre de Corbertin uh, who represents the idea in 1894. So the modern Olympic Games began with the creation of the International Olympic Committee in 1894 and Greece was the first country to hold the Games in the city Athens in 1894. And 241 athletes competed in 43 events. Although some people wanted to have the Games in Athens every four years. The IOC decided to have them in different countries and cities. So in 1900, they were held in Paris and women were allowed to compete in the games for the first time. The Olympic oath also added in 1920 and the first Winter Olympic Games were held in 1924 and the athletes competed in events such as skating and ice hockey hockey and over 200 countries are now compete in the summer olympic games the number of events have increased to 300 events and instead of five days of competition the games now last for 17 days and there are some problems however there were no olympic games held in 1916 1940 and 1941 because of war and also banned in the covid so also some the athletes used the drugs to help them to win so in addition the game was very expensive for example in 2014 winter games in sochi 
cost the 50 billion US dollars. The Olympic Games continue to be extremely popular all over the world. The modern Olympic uh, flag of five linked rings introduced in 1908 and there is no Asian basis for this modern symbol and it represents the five inhabited continents of the world. Pakistan Olympic Association was created in 1948 while Pakistan Sport Board was established in 1962 and Pakistan for participated in the Olympic Games in 1948 in London and Pakistani athletes have won a total of 10 medals all in the Summer Olympics. It is all about the Olympic Games and its history. I hope you got it. Thank you so much.